So an observer is somebody who is actively looking to identify the vaquita, and we are specifically looking for photos that can be used for photo ID. We have a drone operator who is getting other photos of the vaquita. And for us on the big eyes, through our observations, we are creating a narrative of what we're seeing. And we're using that information to help determine things like behavior, and again, how many unique individuals we are seeing so that we can get a better idea of the population size. 2.2. Moving left. Left, left, they're moving left. Okay. Up, still. John got his vaquita. Yeah, he got three vaquitas. They're up, there's six left from us. That's two animals, they're uh, at the reticles, which is a third of a mile. So up just means they're at the surface and we visually see them. So we see the animal with our own eyes through the big eyes and they are at the surface. And then the information that we immediately have to relay is the bearing and reticle. So we get that information from the big eyes and that tells the person who's the recorder, they put that in the computer and it maps it for us. Uh, it also helps with the other ship helping to relocate the animals and it also helps with the drone pilot to be able to use that information to find the animals. We do an hour and a half of observing and then we have an hour and a half break. But if we have a vaquita sighting, if we have a vaquita sighting, it's all hands on deck. So we could sometimes be on watch for hours. From what I know of their genetic diversity, they still have enough that they can come back from it. And again, with projects like this and people in the community getting involved in the media, sharing more information about this so more people are aware, uh, I think with all of those things combined, yeah, we still have a chance.